My name is Christina. I'm an exercise physiologist specializing in weight loss. The first thing I uh, examine is their goal. I take into consideration uh, if their focus is on weight loss, if they're maybe training for a 5K, if they want to increase their flexibility, make it personalized towards the person I'm working with and make sure that we're all on the same page when it comes to realistic goal setting, whether that be a weight loss of five pounds or a hundred pounds. If you need to lose a hundred pounds, focus on the first 10. Have an action plan. What will you do to help reach that goal? Maybe share that with somebody uh, to make you more accountable. My name is Melanie. I have lost uh, 80 pounds in about the last year and a half, a year ago last summer. Um, I'm a, a high school English teacher and that that's made a really big difference. I'm Bill and um, I started the same time Melanie had, uh, did and I haven't lost quite as much weight but it's about 45 pounds and um, I continue on. So there's 3,500 calories in a pound. So if you're looking to lose one to two pounds a week, it would be very hard to limit uh, approximately 500 calories a day from your diet or exercise 500 calories a day. Um, to put into perspective, if you walk about a mile, you burn about 100 calories. Not many people are just gonna start walking five miles a day tomorrow. So that's where the combination of diet and exercise, maybe uh, limiting your calories, reducing it by 250 calories a day and exercising an extra 250 um, calories a day. So if you think of it kind of like a checkbook, balancing your checkbook, calories in, calories out, really makes a big difference. I think people can really overestimate the amount of exercise they need to do in order to lose weight. Uh, the Surgeon General and the American College of Sports Medicine both recommend 30 to 60 minutes of exercise a day for weight loss, which can be broken up into 10 minute sessions. There's even some new research showing that if you can break it up into five minute sessions, it's just as beneficial as that one 30 minute session. So this suddenly becomes more realistic. I figured out how I could do this at school. During the first part of my plan period, I just make four circuits walking around the building, and that's about a half mile. And I do that uh, every single day. I, no matter how many papers I have waiting for me, we try to incorporate walking everywhere we go. Uh, so if I'm at the grocery store by myself, I will often make a circuit around the whole grocery store before I even put anything in the cart. We have a very large yard. Um, I got a walk behind a lawnmower that I, I, I didn't buy a rider. If I ever get to the point where I can't do it, a lot is, it's a walkout, but the hills are not so steep that I can't use a rider if I had to. But um, I enjoy that kind of work. I'm out there trimming bushes and pulling, you know, the errant root weed. When we're losing more than two pounds a week, we find that people do lose muscle. You, you do develop some muscle wasting from that. So that's why it's important in this weight loss stage to um, do something to tax your muscles. The current recommendation put out by the American College of Sports Medicine recommends two to three times a week. So it's nothing that you would do every day. And those muscles do need some rest in between. Keep a diary. Put down everything that you're eating and everything that you are exercising. If you're using a pedometer, write down each step that you take each day to help. Um, research tells us that if you can do that, you're more likely to lose weight. Just take it slow. Think about this as something that you're going to work on the rest of your life because it's so worth the rest of your life. To have and it doesn't seem like um, I've given up all that much to be where I am it's certainly been worth it and and um, as someone who has done this over and over again um, anybody can do this just walking around is you know the less you weigh the easier it is to do it and that encourages you to do it more and uh, it's just getting that started before I would always I have a wedding to go to, so I want to, I want to lose weight for that wedding. And I just really had to change the way I saw that. This is not for an event. 
this is for the rest of my life. So I'm going to just try to do it right this time.